hi been a very long time but i thought why not have a little chat so god it's been about like three or four years like that's just ridiculous i was looking back i'm out of breath all i've done is got up and closed the wardrobes i was looking back at like my old videos and I was like I look so different I was about 15 when I posted those so that was what like year 10 like lockdown 15 year 10 of school since then so much has happened and I feel like now's the best time to like catch you up because I'm not working at the moment and I had nothing else to do and I thought why why not there's nothing stopping me really I think the best place to start off would be like from where I last left off. So obviously lockdown's over. COVID is still a thing, but nothing serious, <laughs> as you probably are all aware because you are living it with me. But I did online school. I did my GCSEs. Well, didn't sit any GCSEs, but past my GCSEs, I started college. I did business media photography, loved it all. Um, and I did, I then sat my exams. I mean, partway through college, I got into a relationship and that lasted however long it did. And we broke up just before A-levels, I think, or like around A-level time. And God, yeah, that was feels like forever ago now, really. But I did my A-levels really fucking hard. God, no one tells you how hard sitting an, sitting an exam is until you have to do it. Because obviously everyone's different. But for me personally, it was the most stressful, the most anxiety-inducing, just hard. It was so mentally draining as well. Like, just knowing where you're sat... Like what, like, what if I sit in the wrong place? Like, that is just, I don't know if anyone else felt like that. But I was like, what if I'm in the wrong seat? Oh my God, like, I, I can't go back and check because it's all on my phone. I've had to turn my phone off. And it was just, and I was like, okay, I'm in the right place. But now I don't know what I need to write about. Oh my God, there's just so much I could say about A-levels. And I'm so happy I don't have to ever relive them. Um, And yeah, that summer, was what well, last summer was it last summer yeah last summer best summer ever me and my best mate went camping for a few nights in Exeter that was so pretty loved that um and then I met Ryan who is now the father of my child which is crazy to say we've been together nine months and like we both kind of just like we moved in together pretty much straight away i moved into his house with his parents and his brother and sister and have stayed here since really unofficially li moved in but all my stuff is here literally got my own half of a wardrobe um all my pictures are on the walls and now we're looking for a place together which is so crazy to think about, like so much has happened in such a short amount of time. Um, but yeah, I'm having a baby. I understand that for a lot of people, like being 19 is like, oh, that's too young, like going to waste your life away. Like now you can't go do anything. And personally, I think they're wrong. I think that like, we both know that it's the right time for us. We were both like, we're not ready. I think it's a very big thing to take on, but we are both prepared to take it on. And we're both so excited. We're over the moon. And like, to be honest, pregnancy has hit me hard because I'm literally out of breath from just talking. I'm sat down and talking and I'm out of breath. <sighs> um, and I also lose my train of thought a lot. <laughs> um. But yeah, we're very excited. We cannot wait. Um, I'm 11 weeks and two days as I film this. And yesterday we posted the little announcement picture 
which was the cutest little thing. I had so much fun setting that up. Didn't take us very long, but like, it's just the whole like exciting bit of you actually now get to tell everyone and it's not a secret anymore. Um, but at the moment we are so excited. Baby is healthy. We have a scan in a couple weeks, um, which is the official 12 week scan. We've already had one, like a little early one. And you could see its little heart flicker and it, like it kicked its legs and oh it was just so cute gut feelings a boy like lets your skin glow whereas a girl sucks all the beauty out so also craving salty not sweet i've like completely gone off chocolate and if you know me at all chocolate is my favorite thing i just can't live without chocolate always want chocolate and now I can't even stomach it, like it just, ugh. Even the thought of it makes my mouth go a bit funny. I'm just excited to start doing this sort of stuff again. I've been doing TikToks, just because I feel like it's a bit easier to manage. You can just do it as and when you don't, like, have to think about it as much. It's like YouTube, you sit down, you like really think about what you're doing or like you kind of go out of your way to do something for it because it's, I feel like YouTube's somewhere where you post stuff that's a bit more interesting and I'm not very interesting. I've been working part time and it's only in the evening so I'm at home on my own all week, all day. And then I work Friday night, Saturday night. So I don't really know why I put it off for so long. But like, I don't know, it's just the other day something hit me. I was like, oh, I really want to do it. I really want to sit down and film a video. Just, I don't know why. I ended up looking back, like watching properly all my old videos. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I look so different. And it just was crazy. There's so much that I want to say, but like, I don't know where to start or like what's something that I should say. I just don't know where to start. <laughs> Things I think at the moment, Ryan and me, we're looking for jobs um, full time because we need, we want our own place and we want like a little, we want our first home to be for us three. Um, so we found one that we like. It's, I'd say about 30, 45 minutes max away from where we live now. Um, it's really beautiful and it's got loads of wooded area around it. The only thing it is we both need salaries obviously to apply um, to prove stable income, which we don't have. <laughs> which is proven to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Like you apply to so many jobs and don't hear back from any or you go for an interview and then They'll be like, oh yeah, we'll get back to you by the end of the week and you don't hear back for two weeks and it's just, it's really draining and it really puts a damper on everything. I mean, I think personally I applied for 17 jobs at one in one go like, over the course of like two days or something and didn't hear back from any. And I was like, what is going on? Like, what, one, why post an application form, like an advert for a job, if you're not going to either look at the applicants or have the decency to reply we're not going to go over your application today I speak i have an interview tomorrow um i'm looking forward to it i'm gonna do a little bit of research a little bit of prep um so i am like top form and yeah and then that's it really tomorrow <laughs> and then working in the evening this is something else. I don't know if this has happened to anyone, but I went for this interview at the place that I'm working at now. And like, I filled out the application, like I look through all the application on Indeed and I make sure it like has everything that I want in the job at the time. And this one said part-time estimated 15 hours a week. So-and-so pay has changed since then. Um, and then I was, I did get a contract through, which, is a little bit bizarre but it's not the end of the world it's just more risky isn't it really 
and then I was messaging today and I was like, I've not had a contract through um, and I've been looking for full-time employment. What's sort of the notice period that you're expecting me to give if I'm successful? And she was like, you're zero hour. And I was like, well, hang on a minute. And I was sat there panicking, like this wasn't said to me on the, well, it wasn't on the application. It wasn't said to me in my interview. It was never discussed, never brought up. Just don't enjoy it anymore, to be honest. And I think the reason I'm looking for a very different full-time role is because I'm so over hospitality. Honestly, it is so boring and so draining and com not competitive, repetitive. Just say the same thing to every table and it doesn't feel my doesn't feel genuine anymore i don't enjoy it i don't enjoy coming home smelling of greasy chorizo and chicken i do however love the smell of the mojitos and i i'm gonna need to find some sort of virgin mojito recipe because i i miss my mojitos they are my favorite cocktail i know a lot of it's going to be pregnancy related now that I, what i talk about but this is a very new part of my life and I want to share it, especially being so young. I personally haven't found any accounts where they are a new mum at 19 or like they've just found out similar sort of period as me. So I thought I would be that person for anyone else who wanted to have a look and just hear my experience. And it'd be nice for me to look back on, I think. Um, for me, personally, this whole finding out I'm pregnant has been really hard on my mental state. To Like with body dysmorphia and the way my body looks and how I feel in my body. Um, I think it's quite hard because in August of last year, um, my doctor suspected a small eating disorder and I went to some specialist couldn't tell you who or what they did but um no, nothing was really confirmed they just they did the usual like take your weight they check BMI and height and ask about habits and all that and what you eat in a day and I kept a lot of it to myself to be honest because I it was really I was really embarrassed that someone had picked up on it and I was keeping it a secret from everyone what I was doing and it was all I did it all on purpose I did it all to make myself look slimmer feel slimmer because I didn't like how it looked oh you're really nervous now I'm going to hear me talking to myself might have changed a little bit just because I got nervous um, but looking back at the videos and I was like, how did I ever think that I was big or that I thought I was big? I was really slim, really, really slim. And I, looking back, I was flat. I had a flat stomach like I wanted and didn't realise it. And being pregnant now, obviously, body's growing and it's changing for good reasons and I'm so happy about the reasons why it is but it's hard to accept that's what I look like now but like ugh, even like down to my hair like I hate how my hair looks it doesn't feel like mine I don't feel like myself in my hair I don't know if I want to be brunette which is like more natural and like me as I've grown older it's gotten darker or if I want to be blonde, blonde, like I used to be. Looking back at photos, I much prefer the blonde to the brunette. I just can't decide. And I miss my long hair. I wish it was long again. <laughs> and I, the extensions are too expensive. So I've got clip-ins and then really, really yellow. <laughs> oh, it was a proper fail. It was a TikTok shot fail. Sun's just gone in. It's probably really dark now. There's a lot to digest about being pregnant and a lot to talk about as well, to be honest. But I will save that for like another video. I'll probably do like a first trimester recap. But it's so bizarre how it just changed so quickly. I am gonna go and I will um, see you some other time. 
thank you for watching